Hello everyone, this is Dr. Alex. If you are new to my channel, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. I swear you will learn something from me. First, I want you to take a look at this picture. Now, as you can see, obviously it's a bridge, right? Is this important? I mean, is there any good reason or purpose why bridges are constructed? Any idea? That's correct. Bridges can make connections. It can possibly connect places that are separated by bodies of water. Meaning to say, if you're going to cross the river with the help of the bridge, you can do it conveniently. And the function of the bridge in making connections has something to do with our lesson for today. It's all about transitional devices. Transitional devices, according to the Writing Center Indiana University of Pennsylvania, are like bridges between parts of your paper. They are cues that help the reader to interpret ideas in the way that you, as a writer, want them to understand. And transitional devices are also known as markers, cohesive markers, connectors, connectives, transition signals, and transitions. And even if they have many names, they still function in the same way. To add ideas, to compare and contrast ideas, to indicate sequence, to clarify, to summarize, and to show cause and effect. Let's have the first function, to compare and contrast. To compare means you give the similarities. To contrast means you give the differences. And here are some samples of transitions that you can use in this function. Yet, still, despite, however, although, otherwise, conversely, in contrast, nevertheless, in spite of this, on the contrary, on the other hand. Example, Greta Thunberg was only 15 years old when she started her environmental protest against the government. In spite of this, she was able to move and inspire other nations to fight climate change. In spite of this is the transition used in this example. And the function is to compare and contrast. As you can see, there are two opposing ideas coming from the first and second sentence. Next, to clarify. To clarify means to make a better understanding. Example of transitions are the following. In fact, to be exact, for example, specifically, for instance, in particular, in other words, as a matter of fact. Example, Greta Thunberg is a famous environmental influencer who speaks candidly to world leaders. In fact, she was even recognized as Person of the Year in Time magazine in 2019. The transition, transition used here is in fact. If you try to look at the first sentence, it tells us that she is a famous environmental influencer. So to clarify things, in order for you to have a better understanding of that idea, in the second sentence, it tells us that she's even recognized as Person of the Year in Time Magazine in 2019. So we use the word in fact, and the function is to clarify. Next, to add ideas. Transition signals are the following, also, further, besides, more so, likewise, moreover, aside from, in addition, additionally, furthermore, in the same way, equally important, in the same manner. Example, Greta Thunberg was born on January 3, 2003 in Sweden. Likewise, her parents are Malena Ernman, an opera singer, and Svante Thunberg, an actor. As you can see on the first sentence, we already have the first information about her birthday and birthplace. Then we added another idea about her parents. Likewise, is the transition device here? And the function is to add ideas. Next function, to show cause and effect. And here are some samples of transitions in this fashion. So thus, hence, therefore, as a result, accordingly, consequently, for this reason. According to Greta's father, Greta experienced depression for three or four years before her environmental strikes. 
As a result, they help her recover by making significant changes in their lives. That is, to become more environmentally friendly. When we say cost, it is the reason, and that is stated in the first sentence. Effect is the result. So, in this example, the transition is as a result, and that is shown in the second sentence. Meaning to say, there is a cost and effect relationship in the given example. Next, to indicate sequence. Sequence means series of events or order of succession. And here are some samples of transitions for this action. Then, first, after, next, until, lastly, firstly, finally, second, secondly, afterwards to begin with and a lot more. Let me read the sentence. Greta shared four simple steps to combat climate change. First, fly less or not at all due to the high level of emissions. Next, cut down on meat consumption or go vegan. Then, join an activist movement like Fridays for Future. Finally, vote a candidate who will prioritize climate change in their platform. Obviously, I use the following, first, next, then, finally. And they're being used to indicate the sequence of events from the simple step of combating climate change from Greta's point of view. And now we have the next function to summarize. Sample transitions are the following, thus, finally, in sum, briefly, and brief, in a word to sum up. In the end, in summary, to conclude, on the whole, in conclusion, to summarize, in the final analysis. Greta Thunberg has been thinking about climate change even when she's just 8 years old. She didn't understand why adults weren't working to mitigate its effects. In the summer of 2018, she started sitting outside the Swedish parliament every Friday as a part of a climate strike. And finally, on September 20, 2019, she led the largest climate strike in history. As you can see, the transition device used here is the word finally. Once again, here are the functions of transitional devices. Now it's time to check if you have learned something from our lesson today. Directions, choose the appropriate transitional device in the sentence then identify its function. Now it's time to check your answers. Please be honest. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Click also the bell icon for more notifications. And oops, don't forget to share so others will also learn something from me.